Earlier tonight, West Ham under-23s kicked off their season against Everton and our friend Adam was at the game and he decided to send some clips and photos over for you guys to have a look at and I gave him a ring straight after the game to get his thoughts on some of the players' performances. I hope you enjoy this. Stick around, drop a like if you do enjoy it, subscribe if you're new, but hope you enjoy this one. Adam, did you enjoy your game? Hello, mate. Um, let's just say it was an exciting but boring nil-nil draw. <laughs> Just to kick I, off the Premier League season. How, how do you think we played? Did they, did, they, did they impress you tonight or do you think it was a little bit season opener quite flat? I think if you take into consideration that, you know, Everton are the Premier League two champions and West Ham have just been promoted to that top league and there's been a, an influx of, you know, youth promotions within the team, I think they've done really well, actually. Um, yeah, Everton a good side, like technically really good side, youth level, um, and I think they they haven't disgraced themselves tonight. Uh, a few players that everybody will be wanting to know how we got on, and um, we'll start with the first one, which we knew we was going to be playing tonight. He's coming back from injury, however over the year last year, Mikel Antonio. How do you felt he did tonight? Did he come through unscathed? Yeah, I mean he had a few uh, tough challenges from some of the. Um, you know, some of the Everton boys, you know, the Everton team, they, you know, they like to stick a big in. And uh, he kind of, you know, it, it's kind of a conditioning process with Antonio. Like, he, he had a few good runs. He, you know, he had a couple of chances on goal from set pieces and, uh, like, from the corners. Um, but he's had, a, he's had a solid seven min 70 minutes and he's done all right, you know. Um, I, I wouldn't be too worried, you know. He come off, he was all laughing and very active and you know talking to the youngsters so he's, he's getting really involved and he's you know he's really getting into that ambassadorial role at the club and um uh, performance wise he's done all right Fit, fitness wise i think he's still a you know a couple of games off um they're talking about him being back for the southampton game i think it would be more likely the newcastle game in my honest opinion but he looks good Nice stuff. Um, um, another player that had throat surgery in the summer, uh, Martin Samuelson. Um, how did he do? Uh, um, it's quite. I don't know what to make of him. I mean, he he, he still looks like a fourteen-year-old boy. <laughs> um, he's he's got such a slight frame, but he's so good on the ball. He's really good. Um, I I do worry about his development. Um, he, he didn't really offer much for the team. He had a few n nice flicks and didn't really offer any attacking threat. Um, I think it's going to be a long season for him and it could be a make or break season. Yeah, the the, the one that surprised people earlier today, um, I think everyone expected to see Antonio Martinez going to Old Trafford on Sunday, but he started tonight. Um, did, did he catch your eye? Does, does he look does he look sort of ready for the step into the first team going by tonight? Physically, when you look at him, He's he's ready. I mean, like him and Antonio didn't look out of place next to one another. But when you put um, Martinez next to some of the other youth players like Hector Ingram, Samuelson, he, he just he could just tell he's he's a boy in a man's body, <laughs> and um, he's got yeah he had a couple of good chances. Like for, he had a really dry period tonight, um, but when he had the chance, you know he, he gave it his best and. Gave, gave probably the club's best effect that tonight. Um, I post, I predicted that um, I wrote an article in the week that I predicted that Martinez would probably start because he's our most match fit striker. Um, but you know he he's, he's played a full game tonight. Um, whether he'd play on Sunday is debatable, but I'm, I'm pretty sure he'll be knocking around the team for the weekend. Yeah, the last player I just want to ask you about. Um... Moses Makassi was obviously with the first team in Germany um, and Austria and Iceland. He went on tour with the first team. He didn't raise as much eyebrows as Declan Rice and Nathan Holland did, but he capped in the side tonight um, in the centre midfield again where he usually plays. And how, how good does he look? He, he's a tidy player. Um, you know, I wouldn't be too hopeful about him, um, to be quite honest. But by the looks of it, he, he seems to be the academy captain for this season. Um, he had the captain's armband and you know and started the game. Um, I, I think he needs to learn a lot more. Have been the captain role. Um, he, he needs to he needs to be barking on the pitch. It, like probably he needs to have a word with Mark Noble and a bit of advice and kind of get a bit of fire in his belly because he didn't really 
influence the team at all. Um, ability wise, I can't knock him. You know, he's he's tidy. He, he passes a good boy. He puts in a good tackle. I just think he he needs a bit more confidence as a captain to kind of push on his his role within that team. Brilliant. And and finally, Adam, was there anyone else that caught your eye tonight that I've not mentioned? Anyone in Pess who was sort of your man of match? Um, man of match, I, I can't I can't really tell to be honest. It was such a it was a game that cancelled out one another. Uh, if I if I had to give a man a match, it'd probably be Nathan Trot. And um, there was a couple of chances that Everton. Uh, had had some clear chances on goal, and Nathan Trot, you know, pulled off some fantastic saves and looked very, very comfortable in goal. Again, he needs to be speaking a bit more, and probably he needs to have a word with Joe Art. Um, he would be my man in the match. But another player that does look um, that does look promising is uh, Henry, who's just been promoted from the academy. I I, his first name. Um, has gone past me. <laughs> like, it's, it's so many names to try and get hold of tonight. But Hem Henry, um, I think physically he's there. Again, like Martinez, he's a boy in a man's body. Um, very strong on the ball, very quick. And I was talking to a few of the guys over at uh, Dagenham Redbridge today, and he's been playing a few games um, during the preseason and has, has looked very sharp and has had a hand in a few goals. So. If there was one to watch in the academy this season, it would, it would definitely be Henry. Well, Adam, thank you very much for sending in the clips and the photos and ringing me up uh, right welcome. after the game and giving us your opinions. Very much appreciated. No worries. I'll give you my phone bill later for all the data I've used. <laughs> Cheers, Adam. Thank you. Well, massive thank you to Adam there for calling in straight after the game as he went over to Dagenham to catch the 90 minutes for the under-23s as they kicked off their season against the reigning champions. Um, Corey Henry was the player he was trying to think of. Um, he couldn't think of the first name. It was Corey Henry, not Danelle Henry, not the Canadian that was signed under Sam Aldice. So it's a name that's new to me. So certainly someone we should be keeping an eye out for next season. But the player he came on for is a name we should be keeping out for, and that's Ajibola Alisi. Now, he's a very young lad. He's only he was born in two thousand and one. That makes me feel old. But he was very well sought after, particularly towards the end of last season likes of Liverpool and Man City were looking at him. So certainly a name to, to come. It looks like we're well stocked in the centre and defence area with young players. In the closing stages of that game, Connor Coventry got a second yellow card for blocking a free kick and got sent off. But anyway, that's our first ever video on the 23s, believe it or not. But if you've enjoyed it, please drop a like on it and comment below because if you want to see more stuff from the 23s, you need to let us know. It's certainly something we've never tried before. Um, but a massive thank you again to Adam and thank you for used to watching it and hopefully you've enjoyed it. But please let us know. It is important. Subscribe if you're new and we'll see you back with first team review on Sunday after the game at Old Trafford. <laughs>